Hey, all this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. If you think I'm on an odd angle, it's because I'm cutting out the glare from the window behind me. Um, so this is my 75 gallon cichlid community tank. I've got everything from yellow labs, ambunas, Paps and peacocks in here a little mix of everything and they are a great group there's no aggression you can see all my fish look super healthy no dings and cuts and scale patches missing now under here you can see Bubba he is a bit of a boss and then in the second story apartment second floor apartment is Rambo and those two don't do well when they meet but they pretty much guard their caves and stick to themselves and lure women or girls in there for little forays so they're okay I was going to rehome them but I decided I like them Rambo was one of my very first. And when I got him, he was only like an inch big. Now he's like four inches. I don't want to give him up. He's special to me. You can't see him in there, but he's in there. Yeah, I got a lot of fish that really like the camera. They like, anytime I'm holding a camera in front, this guy especially, like I get out my, my Canon and he's like all in my face. I cannot get a picture without him in it. And it's usually he's in the front foreground and I'm trying to get a picture of the background or some little fish hiding in a cave like this guy down there. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I think my rocks piled up pretty good. Took me a couple tries because, um, Hubby was working on the cabinet that this tank is on and caused a bit of a avalanche. But actually the second uh, time I stacked them, I think they look even better. And they're solid, like I take my hand and push on them and they're not moving. Like they're, there's uh, rocks right underneath, right through the substrate to the glass. So it's not like they can be dug under and shifted and stuff. So. Yeah, and this rock form over here, I don't know, I, I like it, but the fish get kind of possessive about it. And if anything in my tank, it's that stupid rock that causes the aggression between different males. So I have thought about getting rid of it and just getting more rock and piling them up. Uh, the rock looks really cool, I think. And, and you know, I live in the country, so anytime I'm driving by, I'm like straddling the yellow line in the middle because I'm trying to watch both sides for stones. And all these stones, the great colors and shapes, they're all just stones that I found laying in ditches or on rock piles outside of farms and stuff. And uh, you can't get more natural than that. I mean, look at this one. That's a pretty cool stone, just the size of it, shape of it. And that little round one. I had to get that one because it looks like an egg. It's just cool. So anyway, you can fix up your tank pretty inexpensively. So anyway, this is Deb Tim. My phone's ringing, so I got to go.